everyone, this is Will. Uh, I have yet to get my new setup, as you can tell by this being the same as it was in the past couple of videos. And that's actually going to be pushed till probably January. I got a computer coming, but I'm off work for medical reasons until uh, sometime in uh, December. It's nothing major. But uh, anyway, I promised that this video would come out as soon as I got my books back, and I've had them back for a few days from CGC, the the former PGX books. So I thought I would go over and show what I have here. Uh, the first thing I have is Roy Rogers number one. Now PGX had this thing graded at a 5.0, and it turns out they actually did a good job on that one because CGC came back with a 5.0 as well. And I love this book. It's from 1948. It's the same year my dad was born. And it's just uh, the first solo Roy Rogers book, actually. Uh, before this, uh, it's not his first appearance. That would be in a Dell 4 color book. I forget what issue. But CGC, actually, believe it or not, made a mistake. The comic inside this case is loose. I can actually shift it up and down. Uh, I'm not going to shake it for you because in order for you to hear it on the camera here, uh, I would have to be pretty violent and it's pretty fragile as it is. And after paying for PGX to grade it, paying for that shipping, and then I sent these to CGC like three months ago before they ever offered any crossover. So I paid full price again to have CGC correct I'm doing air quotes, but I'm holding the comic. Uh, to correct all these PGX mistakes that I had, uh, turns out PGX wasn't the one that made a mistake on this one. They didn't secure the comic as well. So, you know, go figure. But anyway, it's, uh, it's actually the only book of real value in this stack as well. So I'm I'm smiling, but I am not happy with that. But to get it reholdered, I've, I've got other stuff I need to send for the first time. So I'm just going to have to hold off. And uh, I actually have it selling on eBay right now. I, I need to take that down, actually, because I, I don't have that in the description. So I hope I don't forget that. Now, the next book I have is uh, pretty cool. It is Showcase number 76. Now, it's graded at a 5.0, and it is from, I believe, 68, yeah, I got it right, 68, and as you can see, the main character on the front here is Bat Lash, and if you can read that, he is actually, this is his first appearance. Now, what did PGX do wrong on this one? Well, they actually, I have my cheat sheet here, they actually graded it the same. They graded it right. The only problem is they put nothing in the description. As far as it being the first appearance of Batlash, they didn't mention it at all. Which is kind of weird because as you can see, his name takes up half the cover and his face takes up the rest. So it's kind of weird they didn't notice that it's Bat Lash on here. But anyway, I, I get mad when I look at these now because all the money I had to spend. And that book is not worth the paying of getting it graded twice. It, it's not. It's still cool though. Uh, the next book here is Thor 177. Uh, again, it's not really valuable. The only reason I had it graded was I was going to PGX. I thought, hey, they're cheap. Why not send a few of these off? Little did I know I'd be paying for another grading company as well. It's graded 8.5 by CGC. Uh, the only thing special is it does have a Surtur appearance. And let's see here. I'm actually, I don't know if you could see the reflection. I, I have a, a Comic Tom video on the TV there. But the only real thing right here is, if I can tilt this just right, there is some chipping along the top of the cover right here. I don't know if you can see that. I can't get it very good. But 
that's the only major defect that this book has. But as far as I can remember, if it has any kind of chipping, it is below. Uh, it is a nine or below, no matter what. PGX had this graded at a nine point two. So there's that one. The next book was graded actually the exact same by PGX. They did a good job on the grading. However, what they didn't do was put the correct writers and artists. And they also made no mention at all that this is a bondage cover, as you can see now. Which I don't know if that's a have to, but with it being Wonder Woman and just the history of her character, you tend to note when there's a bondage type cover, when whether she's in chains or not. Because when she was created by William Moulton Morrison, or Martin Morrison, Martin, anyway, whatever the crap his name is, he uh, was really into like BDSM and stuff, and he put it in the books. You could see a lot of Wonder Woman getting tied up and other things as well and, and again it was also the 40s so women weren't exactly treated the best way so if you have a cover like that you tend to have it noted on there that it's a bondage type of cover and like I said yeah they graded it the same PGX did now this next book PGX doesn't have a qualified label like CGC does so if there's something missing they just they put it on the label but it doesn't really change the color it's just noted on there now this is Brave and the Bold number 62 uh, PGX had it as a 5.5 five, so I got a drop by one half grade so this is a 5.0 and uh, I knew it would come back as a qualified label so there it is, qualified. And the unique thing about this is that it's the first Silver Age appearance of the Golden Age. <clears throat> Excuse me, Wildcat, uh, Black Canary, and Sportsmaster. I believe that's right. No, Huntress. Not Black Canary, Huntress. First Silver Age appearance of the Golden Age Wildcat, Huntress, and Sportsmaster. Uh, Wildcat and Huntress is all CGC had on their label, or excuse me, all PGX had on their label. They completely missed Sportmaster. And uh, I noticed when I got this back and noticed that, uh, he, I believe that's him right there on the cover. So, kind of a big miss there. And there's that. Now, I'm going to go over the ones that I don't have with me. And I'll tell you why I don't have them. Uh, let's see, I'm at eight minutes. Hopefully, I'm blow through this fast. Let's see now. Uh, Cheyenne number eight. I turned that in because it was a PGX book. They graded it at a 9.0. CGC sent it back to me as an 8.5. And you may have noticed Comic Tom unboxed that. I sent it in because, uh, like I said, it's not really valuable. And I was kind of mad about paying for it twice. So I went ahead and sent it in. And PGX actually did an okay job on that one. I didn't really have an issue with it. Now, the other one that Comic Tom opened was a Lucky Star number one. This one and the Daredevil 77 that I, I sent as a PGX to Comic Tom. It's one of the first things I ever sent him. I don't know if you remember that video. It's also the part one of on my channel of these PGX screwed up my older videos where they got the publisher wrong they called Daredevil a DC character they got the date wrong they, it's a 15 cent comic they said it was from 1987 and they also misspelled the word appearance it actually says appearance and uh, that's actually a mistake that Comic Tom missed that they actually missed the the fact that it was called a DC book too but then in another video Thanks to a commenter, they uh, not me, but uh, another guy, they actually caught that too. So, uh, two out of three ain't bad. And then the Lucky Star, if you noticed on Comic Tom's channel when he opened that up and showed that one, it was a 4.0. I 
I still think that's a little generous. I, I would have put it at a 3 or 3.5 tops. But 4.0 is fine. That's a good grade. However, PGX had it graded as a 6.5. They were way off on that one. So that book, the Thor 177, I knew because of the chipping, there's no way it could be a 9.2. And because of the Daredevil book, those were the ones that caused me to send everything out and get it graded by CGC. And uh, I, like I said before, I really don't like looking at these. They're not of real value, really. Uh, so what I've decided to do is I'm going to keep my Roy Rogers because I like it. And uh, eventually I'll get it reholdered. Hopefully they'll do it right. And then uh, the other one, two, three, four books I'm actually going to send as a Comic Karma delivery to Comic Tom. Let him open that up. Uh, I'll do that Monday probably. And I'm also, uh, Fire Guy Ryan, actually, I noticed, subscribed to my channel. So I th thank you for that. And thank you to everyone else, too, that subscribed. I, it's not much of a channel right now. Uh, hopefully when I get my computer and I get back to work and things are all set up January, hopefully I'll be able to pump content out at a better date, better setup, better everything, I hope. We'll, we'll cross our fingers. But uh, as far as giving big uh super chats and donations to comic tom uh and i'm probably going to stop until about february just because of christmas time me being laid up at work uh, from work here at the house but i will do those four books i will send those and i'll also throw in some other stuff just in case fire guy sees this video i don't want him to know everything that i'm going to send i have a few other books that i just don't really I'm not going to get that much out of them so they're, they're not my favorites or anything so I'll send them too but uh let me see there was one more thing I wanted to say oh well it's gone oh well maybe it'll come back or maybe not it must not have been that important <laughs> then again it could be and I forgot something important oh well we'll figure it out later uh thanks again to all the new subscribers hopefully they'll actually get some content going here in the next couple months uh thank you for enjoying the video or thank you for not enjoying the video if you didn't enjoy it thanks for watching it you know clicking on it that helps uh i'm rambling now i'll get to rambling i really i need to do something where i'm not looking at the camera so i can actually have a script or something i'm actually good at writing but as you can see i'm not good at going off the cuff i tend to ramble unless i'm on a stage like when i'm preaching i can do it and by the way i'm not a pastor but i fill in uh, i'm actually doing a sermon with comic books tomorrow so anyway i'm going to sign off thank you guys for watching thanks for viewing thanks for subscribing and we'll see you next time goodbye